Hi. Salute to America class. Look at that fantastic foreign hand. What can you tell us about that and that beautiful coat? Well, um, that's a foreign hand of Morgan's matched in color and in disposition. Uh, when you have multiple horse hitches, everybody talks about them being matched and they think in terms of size and color, but what you really want with a multiple hitch like a pair or a foreign hand are horses that have the same temperament. Now they can be for hellions or they can be for docile horses, but they have to have the same disposition. If you have half and half or one out of one out of four that's a bad actor acting differently than the others, and you got a problem on your hands. So anyway, uh, I'm familiar with this foreign hand. It's owned and driven uh, tonight by Joni Coon. I think it's Marto, Texas, but to you and I, Tonky, what it is is a suburb of Dallas, Texas. It's near Las Pro, where he lives. And she owns them and has them in training with uh, Jean Brown of Training Resources. And that's sitting on uh, her left. And I see that in the carriage tonight, she's joined by her mother. And I've never seen her mother in a carriage before, so this is an experience for her. Oh, they are magnificent. I have goose pimples. Okay, now, um, would you like to pick out another vehicle in the monitor and, and reference it? You okay. said we have a governess card. Yeah, we have card. a governess card in here. Uh, in fact, it's in the far corner getting ready to go under the banner right now. That's a governess card. That was used by, uh, oh, uh, maids to take the children to school and pick them up from school. And it's, it's a wicker basket that kind of wraps around that cart. You'll see... Uh, that it's open in the back when she comes around so the children can get in and out quickly but the seat just wraps around from the sides to the front and to the sides so that she can keep an eye on all those kids when she's taking them to school. Okay, Caleb is zeroing in on the back of that cart like a good fella now. Which one are we going to pick out now, Caleb? Okay, uh, is it the white horse, Caleb? Right behind. Right behind the oh, the, the chestnut horse? Okay. Well, look at that piece. That's a four-wheel piece. Uh, turned out nicely, by the way. A lot of brass, a K collar on that horse. It's a very formal turnout. You can't see it when it's coming at us like this, but if you look at it from the side, you'll see that there's some nice curves on that carriage. The more curves on a carriage, the more feminine the carriage. So this is a ladies' piece. It's a ladies' phaeton, and uh, driven nicely by this chestnut. Look at that brass shine. That's kind of labor intensive, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a labor of love. Um, it's really great that they have this class every year here at the Morgan Grand National. Uh, salute to America. Morgan's played such a, a major role in the development of this country. Okay. Let's do women's rights next. Okay, Okay, women's rights. Uh, that's uh, driven. Thank you, gentlemen. That's driven by uh, Karen Holford of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the horse's name is Chairman of the Board, otherwise known in the barn as Buddy. And he's last year's single carriage horse a world champion here. Oh, uh, and wonderful. Karen Wolford's passenger tonight is the owner of the horse, uh, Judy McCoy. And uh, Judy is uh, uh, enjoying this. Uh, uh, just before she heads to the hospital, she has to have some more treatments. Uh, uh, so she's in really enjoying herself tonight. Exactly. Well, her Morgan horses will certainly be part of her quick rehabilitation, you I'm betcha. sure. You betcha. Caleb, which vehicle are we doing next? It's right down. Right down here. Uh, that looks like a little Meadowbrook carriage driven by a lady. Now that carriage, uh, actually it was kind of the everyday carriage for people to run errands. Um, it's indigenous to Long Island, New York. Um, if it comes from Long Island, it's called a Meadowbrook. Otherwise, uh, it's just a two-wheel cart, but it's very, very handy. That one, by the way, is nicely turned out. If you look at the smooth lines behind where you would keep the tools and, and uh, keep whatever spares that you want to have when you're driving to and from town and to the store. Okay, Caleb's on the search for another vehicle. We've got our light-colored horse. Well, that looks like a gentleman driving a sporting uh, rig. You see how fine the wheels are and how light the assembly of that carriage is. That carriage looks like it's going fast because that carriage is built for speed. See how big the wheels are? That's for speed. It's fine lines, fine wood, not much substance there. So that's one of your basic go-fast sporting units for men. 
Well, it looks like it's very, very, very well balanced. The shafts are perpendicular, uh, parallel to the ground, and yeah. it looks like it's a real smooth going vehicle. So we have a nice mix tonight. The, the gentleman's sporting piece, the ladies' formal piece, the, the four-wheeler, yeah. the green one over there, yeah. the governess cart, four in hand. That's driven, uh, the, the carriage there is called a roof seat brake, Conky. Now, I don't know why it's a brake, but it's a roof seat. Years ago, when people would go to races like thoroughbred races or yeah. standard bred races or Morgan horse races, they didn't have grandstands years ago because those races were held in somebody's pasture. Yep. So the roof seat brake was invented so that you could get as many as nine to sometimes 15 people on the roof seat so that you could look over the top and see the whole racetrack. And you take a picnic basket and some beverage, some wine, what have you. So it's called a roof seat brick. Well, it absolutely is magnificent, and the horses are glorious. I'm so proud of our Morgans that they look beautiful. I mean, they would be competitive in an all-breed uh, coaching competition, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and they are. Uh, a lot of people think that Morgan is America's driving horse, and uh, kind of makes sense, you know. Uh, they have the heart. They have the ability. Um, they can do all the gates at different speeds. They're very, very obedient. So yeah, they're suited to driving anywhere, anytime, on a world basis. Well, I know uh, our friend Susie Stafford is here and she has shown Morgans in carriage driving events uh, as a single competitor, sometimes in the pony division and sometimes in the single horse division. And uh, on an international scale, she has been a champion many times over. Yes, she has. And so she's going to join us for the, uh, I think it's the time scurry obstacle. Okay, she'll be excellent. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So Susie, we're looking forward to that. Susie uh, has been competitive for years with uh, carriage combined driving on an international scale and she's just now breaking into the the carriage pleasure driving business right. like we're looking at here yep. and I, I spoke with her maybe two or three months ago and she really enjoys that so that's good news yes yes well and she has her single horse here that she takes care of on her own and uh, so we had a nice chat earlier today and and we're all penciled in to do the um, the timed obstacle in uh, I think on Thursday good Um, Guy, now what about with the coach we've got, it looks like the footmen have uh, descended from the park drag and now they are heading, we have one footman at the wheelers and one footman at the leaders. Tell us about that. Yeah, particularly with uh, formal pieces or moldable horse hitches, uh, the footman is a critical, critical position. Wow, they're backing up a foreign hand. That is very unusual to see a foreign hand able to back up. And beautifully done. Yay, Joni, and yay, Jean. Good. It looks like the multiple hitch is going to win this class. It's a highly competitive class and very well balanced, like you said, Conky. Uh, this is Joni Coon's first time uh, exhibiting in a carriage pleasure driving class, certainly in a world championship situation. So this is going to be a big moment for her. Well, you can tell they have practiced long and hard. This is in training for two years now, so this is a this is going to be a big culmination of a two-year journey. And it looks like our woman suffrage uh, vehicle is coming up for second. This is great. This is uh, the chairman of the board, a horse named Buddy, barn named Buddy, driven by Karen Holford of Tulsa, Oklahoma, owned by the lady on her left, which is Judy McCoy. Chairman of the board gets reserve champion.
why. Isn't there a resurgence in this discipline where um, people are looking for Morgan horses to purchase to, uh, you know, exhibit in these pleasure driving events? Yeah, there is. And I want to talk about this a little bit. Uh, there's two things going on in the Morgan business and, in fact, the horse business in general. People are moving away from collective classes and more toward, if you will, sport classes like this or like, say, Western dressage or uh, classical dressage or reining or cow cutting because they want that one-on-one -on -one relationship. They're less, uh, if you will, competitive about who won and they, they want to have that relationship. So there's a big resurgence. For example, um, my wife and I owned a pair of Morgan horses, in fact, black horses that we had in training with Gene Brown at Training Resources, the same guy that's leaving the ring now. Um, and we won here in 2008. We sold that pair of horses last month to somebody whose daughter's getting married this hour in <laughs> Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, near Valley Forge. Uh, so yeah, the market is very thriving right now. Buying and selling, a lot of people enjoying this. So leaving now, again, uh, this is a horse affectionately known as Buddy, or chairman of the board, driven by Karen Holford of Riverview Stable in Tulsa, Oklahoma owned by the lady now waving, Judy McCoy. Women's suffrage having a good time tonight. Well, and having a standing ovation right in front of us. Yes, indeed. Now the foreign hand, this is a, a foreign hand of registered Black Morgans matched in size, color, and disposition, pulling a roof seat brake. Roof seat brake is owned, in fact, by my brother Jim Brown in Sanger, Texas. The horses, the harness, everything is owned by Joni Kuhn, she used to have a pilot business and she flew executives around the country all the time. She sold that plane and bought these horses and is really enjoying her carriage. Jean well, she's a terrific friend. pilot, just a, a different kind of vehicle. <laughs> thank you, Guy. That was magnificent. My pleasure, Conky. And uh, thank you to Horse Show Wire. Brought to you by world champion Ferragamo. is proud to present the Grand National and World Championship Morgan Horse Show. Brought to you by Four Points Farm.
So we're here with Lila Tatar from Lawson Creek. So how long have you been showing Morgans for? I've been showing since I was about nine years old. Yeah. So what's, what do you like the most about coming to Oklahoma and showing? Um, I think it's really an experience to come and seeing like the whole show and so many exciting horses. Yeah. So I, I know you have a really cool horse by the name of Bada Bing. Did you bring him to the show? Yes, he's here. Yeah. Are you looking forward to showing him? Oh, I'm so excited. What do you like the most about showing that horse? Um, it's really just an honor to be showing him. He's so fun. Like even at home, just going around, he's always a blast to ride. He's that's, really special. That's cool. So what what divisions are you showing in here? I'm showing equitation, um, English pleasure, classic pleasure, park saddle. I think that's all of them. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. I heard you're involved with the World Cup. Can you explain that? Yeah. So basically, it's not really World Cup. It's um, the Young Rider team. So that's the off years of World Cup. So they, I think it's 13 to 22 that you can apply, and it's basically you kind of do the same thing as World Cup. You ride the horse for about five minutes, and then you have to show do a pattern. That's so crazy. it really tests your riding ability. Yeah. So you do you like it? Is it a really cool experience? Oh yeah, it was really it was a really cool experience. I think it's really helped me um, in my riding. That's cool. So I know you show other breeds too. So talk a little bit about that. I show an American Saddlebred. I just have one, and. Um, yeah. Yeah. So how do you like how do you like sourbreads too? You like those? Too? Oh yeah, they're really cool. But I still think Morgans are gonna be my all-time favorite. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I got Morgan blood in my veins too. <laughs> how was how was your season this year? Do you have a pretty good season? Uh, I've had a really great season. It's been really good. Yeah. So where have you shown? I showed at starting my season in Carousel in Arizona. Then I went to Diamond Jubilee, um, Charity Fair, Del Mar, Woodside, and Santa Barbara. My regionals. Cool. Cool. So it's so it's the the climax is here at at Oklahoma. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting. So good luck, Thank and uh, we're going to be cheering you on the rail. Thank you. At Sea Jarvis Insurance Agency, we have a heart for horses and for the people involved in their care, breeding, and training. The Jarvis Agency has been owned and operated by us, a family of horsemen, since it was founded. Since 1946, we have taken a personal interest in the lives and livelihoods of horse owners and equine entrepreneurs, giving us a unique understanding of the needs specific to horse owners as well as those in equine-related businesses. Through our International Bloodstock Agency, we are able to insure your family, friend, or your multi-million dollar stallion with individually tailored policies that cover your exact needs. Whether your investment is an American Saddlebred World Champion Gated Horse, Morgan Grand National Park Horse, Cobtail Hackney Pony, or a Backyard Companion, C. Jarvis provides the very best coverage available. And our unparalleled service allows us to offer equine coverage not only locally, but nationally and internationally. Jarvis Insurance Agency provides total insurance protection for ranches and farms, as well as major breeding and training centers responsible for hundreds of horses and clients. Now we have taken our coverage a step further to you, the professional or non-professional horseman. Our new worldwide accident policy covers injuries on or off the job, indemnifying you with weekly compensation. Our number one goal is to provide you with the best possible service. To attain that goal, we employ a staff of professionally trained agents who share our commitment, our knowledge, and our expertise. For details, check us out on the web at www.jarvisinsurance.com. Then give us a call. We'd love to help you protect your equine dreams. Here we are, Saturday night. They're sounding the call. I'm getting very excited. What class is coming in? I'm at your road store. Okay. I'm the bike. Okay, we're going to, Caleb's going to.
Okay. You got to watch your monitor to make sure you're on the right horse, okay? <clears throat> I believe they're still waiting for one. Ah, uh, here they come. We've got three fine examples of the Roadster to Bike Division here with us tonight. Here's a young horse that's just been shown a few times and uh, looks like he's gonna do really well in this division. Here's a veteran that's seen it all before. He's right behind. Another young horse right behind that. They're at the jog trot. Uh, style is most important. Uh, Why are we going the different direction of the ring than all the other classes? Well, this is a... <clears throat> Typical of the race horses, they warm up this way, and uh, when they get to going real, real good, and then they'll turn around and go the other direction at speed. They'll have three gears the second second way of the ring. This way, they only have two. Just all getting them warmed up. All three of these horses are doing a good job, don't you think? Oh yes, very nice examples. Look like all three of them like their job too. Well, I know you like to work road horses because they're fun at home and they're fun at the horse show, huh? Oh, yes, they are. They're a lot of fun. Um, anybody who has a little bit of need for speed <laughs> needs to have a road horse. And, Lynn, I hear you're the master of faster. Well, I don't know about that. We had one that was pretty fast once. <laughs> okay, this horse is a veteran at this. He's uh, been in very... Very many different disciplines, but uh, he's suited very well for this one. And right behind him is a younger horse that's um, sure going to have his impact in the uh, near future. Now they're up to second gear now. They're going to show some speed here in a minute. They'll show all they've got. There you go, that horse is making a really, really nice pass down there. Got a lot, a lot of style. Okay, now we're gonna go at speed. Uh, going for broke, go as hard as they can go. Now they should stay up on the rail while doing this. <clears throat> Don't need to be cutting the ring. Beat them fair and square. A couple of them getting in a drag race over here, but we got this horse all by himself making a really, really nice show. Here they come. Well, that was a very nice class of <coughs> road horses in the amateur division. Very well suited. I'm not gonna put you on the spot. I think it's too close to call. What do you think? Um, they, uh, we don't get paid enough this week. <laughs> so they're gonna have to sort this out for us. Now, how early in a, a horse's career can you tell that they would be a potential road horse? I think some come along quicker than others, um, but the horse typically is not very at his prime until he's double digit. Oh, wow. I don't believe. Okay. Yeah. Well, Morgans have, you know, longevity. They can last a long time and they like their job and road horses are happy campers. They just, they love to go fast. I believe this is just a qualifier, so they're going to get another chance to come back, make a few adjustments, and come back for their world's championship. <laughs> He's been there before. Uh, probably uh, no surprise. Danny Kelly's drove several of them before. Uh, And that looks like David Rand heading them up. Brought to you by Hallmark Farms. Oklahoma's home for champions. 
MGNLive.com is proud to present the Grand National and World Championship Morgan Horse Show. Stan Bodner, who is of Mary Hill Farm fame. Stan and his family have done a great job with Champion Morgans for how long, Stan? So 40, 45 years, something like that. Well, admitting it certainly <laughs> has its good news and its bad news standpoint, but you've done a super duper job. And, Thank you. And the Morgan horse certainly has generational implications, and, and Mary Hill is demonstrative of that. Just give us a little bit of the family background, how it ran through the generations, including the Morgans. Uh, well, I guess um, it started with my wife's uh, parents, uh, so that they started with the Morgans, so they did, and then they started, then they liked them, so they did, and then they started breeding them, and then everything just escalated from there, and now we have probably 74 on the farm. Absolutely wonderful. But so your wife's parents, and then now your offspring as well are involved yes, in showing. Yes, both okay. my sons, my, both my sons, my daughter-in-law. Um, we all show. It's a big family operation, so it is, and uh, we all have our jobs. That, and as you can see, mine is cleaning harnesses. They're back there getting horses ready, cleaning them clipped and bathed and feet sanded and ready to go to the big dance. Wonderful. Now, speaking of big dances, I understand that you also um, work and show and do very well with a breed called Dutch Harness Horses. They're very fancy. And then I've seen pictures of you in the major publications winning with um, Hackney Ponies and Hackney Horses. Now, tell me a little bit, a little bit about that. Uh, well, the Dutch Harness Horses, we just started showing this year. So we did. Um, we have a really nice uh, two-year-old, so we do. And then um, uh, these... Um, people in Indiana, so they did just started sending them to us, and um, now I guess we're exclusively theirs as far as training and showing their Dutch harness horses. <laughs> so, that, so that's pretty cool. That's very pretty cool, and I see that you are well educated in having your harnesses be of high quality, number one, when you purchase your harness, yes. and two, maintaining your equipment and having it fit appropriately. All, all correct assumptions? Uh, abso absolutely. Um, if a harness isn't fitted right, a horse isn't going to wear it right and, and uh, show to its best. So um, uh, when we clean the harnesses, we have to make sure that all the, uh, we count the holes that we take it out of. So we do. We don't cheat and just polish the brass around the holes. We actually take it out and, and, uh, and then count the holes and then put it back exactly because that's the adjustment that we've and uh, we generally jog the horses in the show harnesses about a week before they show, and that way we make all of the adjustments, um, you know, other than, you know, a minor one you might make right before they go in the ring. Yep. But everything else is pretty much yep, in, intact. Yeah. Well, preparation certainly is important at this big show. And how many did you bring this year? Uh, 21. That's a nice number. When we wish you great luck with Thank Mary you. Hill Farm, and we have a red carpet uh, presentation area where we interview our, some of our world champions, and I'm sure that we'll see you and your family up uh, there. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> Brought to you by author Patty Brooks. Following the success of Fame and Deceit is the new Blood Hoax, where horse trainer Ike Cherney deals with the counterfeit horses his boss is breeding. The third and final book of Brooks's series will be released in July 2014. Blood Hoax, available at the AMHA booth in Oklahoma City and www.pattybrooksbooks.com. MGNLive.com is proud to present the Grand National and World Championship Morgan Horse Show.
I'm here with Susan Morey from Hallmark Farms, and we're here in Oklahoma City, and she is our hometown hero, right, Susan? Well, I don't know about that, <laughs> but I am from here in Oklahoma City, actually Edmond, just north of here, where our farm is, Hallmark Farms. Tell me more about your farm. How long have you been in existence? Uh, we've been there, actually, my husband has been there 36 years. Uh, I've been there 30. We got married and went into business together. And we've been showing Arabians for about 30 years, up until just a few years ago. And my husband took a job as the Judges and Stewards Commissioner of the Arabian Horse Association. And I've always loved Morgans. And I've always come and watched the Morgan show. And so Morgans was kind of my next step since I couldn't show Arabians anymore uh, with his job. And I'm loving it. And one thing led to another, and we've got a barn full. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Now, what's your favorite discipline? Uh, I would say probably the Eng you know, English part, you know, yeah. the classic, is uh, where I guess I'm more comfortable. Right. Uh, we've got quite a few Western horses and hunter horses. Um, I hired Brittany Olson from Texas. She's working with me now. And um, we would kind of gotten out of the Western part of it with Arabians. Uh, our stallion, we, we bred primarily English horses, and so getting back into the Western, I've really enjoyed. And the Morgans are so much, oh, they're so easy. They're, they're just very, very willing to work. I was we're loving that. <laughs> well, and I was really happy you pointed that out. So many of the people that have switched from Arabs to Morgans, that d definitely is one of the comments oh, that they share yeah, with oh, us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, don't mean, I love the Arabian right. horse. I love the Arabian horse. Right. Uh, we will always be you know, indebted to the Arabian horse. It sure. made a great living for us. But the Morgans, I guess when you get older, these things are so willing uh -huh. to do what, they, what you want them to do. It's, it's a yeah. joy. We're really we're enjoying it. They're people, the people pleasers, right? Oh, they are. They are. They want, they want to please. And the Morgan people have been so accepting and so very nice. Uh, I feel, kind of feel like the new kid in school, uh, but I'm loving it. Everybody's been wonderful. It's been great. Well, welcome, new kid, and I hope you have a super duper week. It's been our pleasure. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, have a fun ride. Thank you. is proud to present the Grand National and World Championship Morgan Horse Show.